Good evening, Hawkeyes, and welcome to the 2023 University of Iowa Homecoming Parade. For years, Homecoming has allowed alumni, community members, students, and future Hawkeyes to celebrate everything that makes the University of Iowa so special and home to so many. This year, 121 student organizations, departments, and groups from the greater Iowa City community will show off their brightest Hawkeye spirit as they march in tonight's parade. The University of Iowa was founded in February 1847. For over 175 years, the University of Iowa has championed long-standing traditions to celebrate and uni unite Hawkeyes. Homecoming week brings together students, faculty, and staff, future Hawkeyes and alumni from across the world in celebration. At this moment, we would like to recognize the homecoming council parade directors, Gustavo Orellana Santos and Jasmine Lee, as well as executive director, Matt McDonald and advisor Chris Hawkins for their monumental efforts and contributions in planning this year's parade. Without their help of our sponsors, this wouldn't be possible. We'd like to thank the following University of Iowa Center for Advancement, Student Life Communications, Facilities Management, Brian Clark from Iowa Athletics, Andrew McKnight, and Kevin Bailey from the Iowa City Police Department and University of Iowa Police Department, and our undergraduate Student government, a special thanks to our sponsors, University of Iowa, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the University of Iowa Rehabilitation Hospital, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 405, Hills Bank, Carpenters Union, 21260, Mid-American Energy, and our Duke Slater sponsor, Hawks Ridge, and our Kinnick level sponsor, NG. And now, tonight's parade. First off, the University of Iowa, Army ROTC, the Police Escort, Johnson County Ambulance, the Department of Public Safety and Iowa City Police Department, and the Iowa City Fire Department, and the University of Iowa Alumni Marching Band. They'll be coming down the street in just a moment. Our 2023 homecoming Grand Marshals this year are Spencer Lee and Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Lee and Clark are the only University of Iowa athletes in history to win the prestigious James E. Sullivan Award, an honor given annually to the most outstanding athlete at the collegiate or Olympic level in the United States. In addition to athletic excellence, the Sullivan Award aims to recognize the leaderships of citizenship, character, and sportsmanship on and off the field. Now our first parade marshal, and we're gonna start it early because she's got a long description. Caitlin Clark won the Big Ten, FEMA three, Naismith, wooden and wade trophies along with the associated press and u.s bwa and myers drysdale national players of the year honors this past season clark led the hawkeyes to their first ever ncaa championship title game and helped iowa set program records for season for single season record for wins during the NCAA tournament, she recorded the first 40-point triple-double in tournament history and broke the single tournament records for three-point field goals and points. In 2022-23 season, Clark was the nation's only player to total more than 1,000 points, 240 rebounds, 310 assists, and 45 steals. Off the court, Clark is a two-time first-team Academic All-American and was named the 2023 CSC Academic All-American team member. Welcome, Caitlin Clark. Spencer Lee 
is a 2021 University of Iowa graduate now pursuing a master's degree at the University of Iowa. Lee was a three-time NCAA champion, five-time All-American, and two-time Hodge Trophy winner at the University of Iowa. He finished his career with a 98-6 record and a 26-0 record at Carver Hawkeye Arena. He helped lead the Hawkeyes to the national championship in 2021. In addition, he was a three-time academic All-Big Ten honoree. He is now training for the 2024 and 2028 Olympics, Spencer Lee. And now, our president, Barbara Wilson. John Lammers is fishing. Our University of Iowa student government, Carly O'Brien and President Mitch Winterlin. Graduate and professional student government representatives are President Mason Kelm and our Vice President Adriana Kaczkowski. Next up, from Student Life, our Vice President of Student Life, Sarah Hansen, and our Dean of Students, NG Reams. We thank you for your patience during this break. It's a little tough to get the alumni band to all together in an order. So they created a, a roadblock. They were actually supposed to have already gone through. You probably noticed they hadn't. Well, they finally got together, and here they come. And they're not running.
It appears the alumni marching band is marching in place. Oh, there they go. Their final members have just gotten out of the airliner, and I think they're coming our way. It's going to be a long parade for that team. The good thing is there are only 121 entries. So this fast start will be done in a second. And here comes your University of Iowa Alumni Marching Band. Everyone. <laughs> the alumni marching band celebrating their 50th year. They don't look a day over 49. Operations Manager, Kathy Ford. Hawkeye Marching Band, Director Emeritus, Dr. Morgan Jones. Once a golden girl, always a golden girl.
One more time, let's hear it for our Iowa Hawkeye Alumni Band. <laughs> Celebrating 50 years of excellence and timing. Next up, let's go back to the Iowa Memorial Union Associate Dean and Executive Director of the IMU, Bill Nelson. And next, our Dance Marathon family. Liz Armentrout. And Riley Armentrout is our dance marathon kiddo. From Iowa City, she's eight years old. Riley was diagnosed with a Wilms tumor when she was 17 months old. She went, she had the tumor and her right kidney removed two days after it was discovered and then underwent 19 weeks of chemotherapy with no evidence of disease just before her second birthday. In her first few years of life, she went through more scans and needle pokes than many experienced in an entire lifetime. This journey has shown how resilient she is and how we are so fortunate that she is thriving today. Earlier this year at the Dance Marathon main event, we celebrated her being five years cancer free. The journey doesn't end for her yet as she will have follow-up appointments to monitor her wealth and her health being Riley loves softball and aspires to be a YouTube vlogger sensation. University of Iowa alumni Lou Christ, the DAA Hickerson Award winner. Lou hosts our Iowa marching band and is famed for saying, it's time, get ready for the boom. Distinguished alumni Chad Greenway and Jenny Capista Greenway, recipients of the DAA Recent Graduate Award. 2005 graduates, Jenny ran cross country and track. Chad was an all Big Ten linebacker for the Hawkeyes. In 2006, Chad became a first round draft pick for the Minnesota Vikings and remained there for his 11 year career. Congratulations to Chad and Jenny and all they have done for the Lead the Way Foundation, its mission to support families of the serious ill children, UI Stead Family Children's Hospitals is one of the beneficiaries of Chad's Locker, a program supplying video games and other electronics to kids during treatment. Thank you, Chad and Jenny. <laughs> UICA Distinguished Alumni, Thomas James Junsrud is the distinguished recipient of Achievement, TJ, president of New Cara Management Group, is a 1966 graduate of the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy, where he serves as chair of the executive leadership board. His visionary, he is a visionary in health care and business and service to others. For the past 50 years, he has cultivated a pharmacy in Cod Red, Iowa, into a multifaceted organization serving thousands of patients daily in the upper Midwest and Texas. Welcome, JT. Our next distinguished alumni member, Bob Mitchell of West Des Moines, is the recipient of the DAA Service Award, a longtime member of the Polk County Eye Club. Mitchell has served as the U on the UI Alumni Association Board and UI Center for Advancement Alumni Leadership Council. He has channeled considerable energy into the Des Moines Kiwanis Club for more than 35 years, and he led a campaign to develop Kiwanis Club Miracle League at Principal Park, a first of its kind facility for children and adults with disabilities so they can enjoy playing baseball. Congratulations, Bob. And our final UICA Distinguished Alumni Award winner, the beloved Chuck Swanson. 
Chuck of Iowa City is the recipient of the Forevermore Staff Award. Chuck attended performances at the original Hancher during college and then became the executive director in 2002. When the original Hancher was destroyed in 2008, Chuck shepherded the organization through the redesign and rebuilding process. Chuck has had a remarkable influence on the University of Iowa. His 37 years at Hancher elevated it to new heights, having cultivated relationships that enrich the arts, university, and state of Iowa. Congratulations, Chuck. Our scholarship award winners, Faith Sakina and Alex Bouchard. And now our homecoming court, Vera Bartkowski, Shushma Santana. Next up, Madison Smith and Jillian Villamec. In our next Corvette, Natalie Knapp and Courtney Reese. And next up, Benton Reno and Abby Sheckleton. That's not skeleton, it's Sheckleton. Next up, Brooklyn McKee and Sebastian Janelle. And our next Corvette, homecoming royalty, Sydney Maxa and Sabrina Leistico. And next up, Miss Iowa USA, Grace Lynn Keller. Following our Corvettes, our Kinnick level sponsor for today, NG, in a 50-year historic agreement, NG North America and the University of Iowa joined together in 2020 to transform their energy and utilities across campus. NG is a worldwide leader in renewal and green energy, helping universities and companies find more sustainable and efficient ways to work. Thank you, NG. And next up, the University of Iowa women's wrestling team will be competing for the Hawkeyes this year. Our inaugural home meet will be November 12th at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Hope to see you at Carver. It'll be a historic event. Iowa Hawkeye women's wrestling. And now, undergraduate student government. We are a student government organization who works to represent, serve, and empower all University of Iowa undergraduate students. Thank you to our undergraduate student government members. They're the ones honking. And our next group, here is the Chinese Student and Scholar Associations, CSSA. A beacon of Chinese culture abroad that unites students, foster community, and showcase rich traditions celebrating both heritage and global unity. Chinese students and scholars. Next up, our West High School Marching Band, the 220-member Iowa City West High Trojan Marching Band, featuring drum majors Claire Lawler, Nick Oberlocking, Jenna Reed, 
Sebastian Rutkowski, and baton twirlers Julia Doral, Ava Freeze, Ashley Nemec, and Lauren Iacopucci. The band is under direction of Ryan Middleton and Brian Zeglis. Drumline coordinator is Doug Krejci. The Iowa City West Marching Band. Lutes and Piccolo's rule, go Trojans! Life's Your Stage Dance Company's mission is to enrich the lives of its students and their families by providing the highest quality of dance instruction. They strive to demonstrate how lessons learned in dance class at any age can be applied to many life situations both in and outside of the dance studio. Life's Your Stage Dance Company. Hello, Rob. As the official bank on the University of Iowa campus, Hills Bank is here to support Hawkeyes across Iowa City and the corridor. Stop by our local, convenient local locations near the University of Iowa campus to handle all of your business and banking needs. Hills Bank, member FDIC. Hi, Penny Bear. Next is the Coralville Lake Marina. They're home to all of your boating needs. Sales, service, stockage, storage, and boat rentals are available. So please come see us at the lake to see our excellent pricing and closeout models are available now. Coralville Lake Marina Incorporated. Hey everybody, there's interim University of Iowa Athletic Director, Beth Getz. There she is, give Beth a hand and go Hawks. Uh, 
Next up, the University of Iowa Center for Advancement helps UI friends and alumni stay connected, get involved, and give back. Our mission is to advance the University of Iowa through engagement and philanthropy. And be careful, they're throwing things at us. The University of Iowa Center for Advancement. Next up, boxing is for everyone. At i Boxing, Iowa City's original amateur boxing club established in 2000. i offers classes six days per week with classes aged for ages of five and up, including no contact boxing, competitive boxing, and boxing for senior citizens and people with Parkinson's disease. i Boxing. Our next entrant, entrant 37, Ambition Baton and Dance. Ambition Baton and Dance is located in Iowa City and has classes for recreational and competitive baton twirling. If you're interested in joining a class, check out www.ambitionbatontwirling.com for a free trial class. Now up, entrant 38, the Newman Catholic Center is your vibrant Catholic community on campus. They are dedicated to helping all students know, love, and serve Jesus Christ by practicing an everlasting faith, which is much more precious than gold. The Newman Center. And now the University of Iowa Driving Safety Research Institute, home of the National Advanced Driving Simulator, have two of their research vehicles with them today, in addition to an inflatable car that is used for testing advanced safety features such as automatic emergency braking. They'd also like to invite everyone to their public open house on Wednesday, October 18th from 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock where attendees may ride in their highly automated shuttle bus and tour the nation's largest driving simulator. That looks like my car. Entrant number 40, Systems Unlimited. 
For over the past 50 years, Systems Unlimited has delivered high quality, personalized and individualized support for people with disabilities and mental health needs. Navigating the complex world of social services can be overwhelming. We're here to be a tireless supporter for you and your loved one. Systems Unlimited, thank you for all that you do. Yes. Systems Unlimited. Our next entry, Johnson Clean Energy District, helps homeowners to cut their energy bills, make their homes more energy efficient, and reduce carbon emissions. Citizens Climate lobby advocates for policies that reduce CO2 emissions to combat climate change. Johnson Clean Energy District. Say hello to the City of Iowa City employees and council staff members. They are celebrating their first year of Fair Free Iowa City. The program that makes all Iowa City buses 100% free. And please welcome our Honorable Mayor. Entry number 43, the University of Iowa Dance Marathon. The University of Iowa Dance Marathon is a student organization that provides financial and emotional support for the kiddos and families fighting pediatric cancer at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. Thank you to the University of Iowa Dance Marathon. And next up, the Daily Iowan, the independent student-led newspaper at the University of Iowa, considered one of the best college newspapers in America. The DI has launched careers of journalists who now work across the state and the world, including the New York Times, USA Today, and Associated Press. The Daily Iowan. Cadence Preschool Academy at the Cadence Preschool Academy. They provide parents peace of mind by giving children an exceptional education every fun-filled day in a setting as nurturing as home. Next up, entry 46, the University Democrats consists of students advocating for a more equitable and inclusive future for all. And marching with them 
are the Johnson County Democrats and elected officials. Entry 47, Fit Me Reach, is the social sports platform that connects everyday athletes to play and get fit together. We match athletes in more than 35 different sports and activities based on parameters, such as interests, location, skill level, etc. And we are currently beta testing the application, which is available for download only at fitmereach.com. Next up, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Johnson County is a nonprofit focused on child mentoring. They are committed to aspiring confidence and helping every child achieve their full potential. Thank you to Big Brothers, Big Sisters at Iowa. And next, another University of Iowa athletic team, the Iowa Gymnasts. The Iowa Gymnastics team flips into action this January, led by two-time Big Ten champion Q Henderson and NCAA All-American Adeline Kenlin. Purchase your season tickets and stay up to date with the Gym Hawks on social media. Go Hawks! Next up, the Bell and Blank Center is here with two, uh, two academies. Bucksbaum Academy is an early entrance program for students ready to enter college early. And the 2E Academy supports twice exceptional students through college. And next, UI Reach is a comprehensive transition program for adults with intellectual, cognitive, and learning disabilities. UI Reach offers an integrated University of Iowa experience in a caring and structured environment. Thank you for all you do, UI Reach. One of the truly great programs in higher education in the U.S. Our next group is waiting for the light to turn green. It's, you can move. The police report to me. Somebody stop them, they're out of control. It is table to table. Table to table bridges the gap between abundance and hunger by redistributing surplus food that would otherwise go uneaten reaching people through partnerships to create a more just and less wasteful food system. This year marks more than 30 million pounds of food rescued since 1996. Table to table. Now entry number 54, Edge Realty Group. Edge Realty Group recently rebranded from Coldwell Banker. They provide gold standard real estate services located on the edge of the Iowa River. Edge Realty Group. 
And I think that's our first real float. No drinking on the parade route. Gosh, thank you. <laughs> Entry number 56, Mid-American Energy. The Mid-American Energy Company provides natural gas and electric service in the Iowa City and Cedar Rapids corridor. Our equipment is used by crews to keep the lights on, our customers warm and safe, and to energize the communities we serve. The employees walking in the parade today live and work right here in our communities. Mid-American is focused on destination net zero and is on the path to providing 100% renewable energy for our customers. Mid-American energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. And next up, entry 57, the Color Guard Club. The University of Iowa Color Guard Club is a student-run organization that competes across the Midwest during the Winter Guard season. Mark Camps is behind his group. Hurry, Mark. And that is Puncheros. They're not on my roster, but I like Puncheros. Our next entrant. Urban Acres Real Estate as the first and only member-owned real estate firm in the area. Urban Acres is a market leader powered by more than 60 knowledgeable agents who build the company on a foundation of integrity and innovation. Urban Acres has been named the best in the area, best real estate company, number one real estate company by locals, and the best of the corridor in the Corridor Business Journal, Urban Acres. Next up, Caring Hands and More. Caring Hands and More offers customizable suites of services to meet the needs of individuals in the community. Caring Hands uplifts communities by providing peace of mind for life's challenging situations. Caring Hands and More. Our next entrant, number 60, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 405. A proud sponsor and partner with the University of Iowa. We've been wiring the campus since 1911, including Kinnick Stadium, the Children's Hospital, and more. And we will continue to light the way for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Next up, the University of Iowa Dance Club is an all-inclusive, dance-focused student organization that provides a studio-like environment for members to continue pursuing and possibly find a new passion. We raise money for two amazing charities, DEA Youth Dance Program and Dance Without Limits, who aim to provide an after-school outlet to youth to express themselves through dance. 
Our next entrant, number 62, Brickford Senior Living, is an assisted living center with memory care, where we do whatever it takes for our residents. Brickford Senior Living. Next up, Pikachu. The University of Iowa Staff Council that represents 7,500 professionals and scientific staff at the University of Iowa. Our shared governance seeks to advance the university mission through visibly active staff participation and involvement in both campus-wide and community-wide efforts. University of Iowa Staff Council. Next up, Aspiring Educators at Iowa. Aspiring Educators at Iowa is part of the National Education Association, the largest labor union in our country. Our four core values are community engagement, political action, social justice, and educator quality. And next, the Iowa City High School Marching Band. The City High Little Hawk Marching Band is proud to perform in this year's University of Iowa Homecoming Parade with nearly 200 students in their band program. In addition to performing at home football games and their own homecoming parade, the Little Hawk Marching Band competes against regional high schools. The Iowa City, City High School, Little Hawk Marching Band. They will be hosting the second annual Corridor Marching Classic this Monday, October 9th at 6 p.m. All of those marching band members will be fitting into that trailer after the parade is done. And keeping a safe distance behind the City High Marching Band is the Iowa City Public Library. Iowa City Public Library serves as the center of community life, learning, and connection. Use your free ICPL card by visiting the library, bookmobile, or icpl.org today. Go read. Next up, 
fraternity and sorority life at the University of Iowa. We are representing fraternity and sorority life at the University of Iowa. Our goal is to better develop understanding of one another while serving our community and striving for academic excellence. Alpha Z Delta was founded in 1893 and our members live through the values of courage, graciousness, and peace. Delta Tau Delta was founded on the values of faith, truth, courage, and power. And Kappa Kappa Gamma is a women-led sorority at the University of Iowa that supports mental health of teens and young adults. Next up, our Iowa Hawkeye cross country track and field team. These guys are fast and a nationally ranked program, both indoor and outdoor. Let's hear it for the Iowa Hawkeye cross country track and field. Thank you, thank you. Entry number 69, Carpenters Union Local 1260. The Carpenters and family members of the Local 260, 1260, along with their construction partners have been building Iowa City and its surrounding community for over 100 years. We are currently accepting applications for jobs that offer good pay and good benefits. Be a part of Carpenters Union Local 1260. Love Lives at the Lutheran Campus Ministry, an ELCA student ministry group on the University of Iowa campus. We welcome and celebrate members of every background and orientation to join in worship, fellowship, and caring for our community. And next up, the Student Nursing Association at the University of Iowa aids in helping nursing students succeed. We form events to volunteer our community and spread awareness about the importance of nursing. And the College of Pharmacy Homecoming Committee. The University of, Col the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy is currently ranked as one of the top 20 pharmacy schools in the nation. As future pharmacists, we strive to advance the field of pharmacy, improve health care services, and provide the highest quality care. University of Iowa College of Pharmacy Homecoming Committee. Next up, Iowa Book. Use Iowa Books coupons to save and enter to win a $100 gift card. Compare, shop, and save with Iowa Book. And next up, they're gonna make some noise. It's the Van Hayden Band. Van Hayden is a Hayden Fry and Van Halen tribute Iowa Hawkeye football tailgate band. The band can be found performing Saturdays at tailgates around Kinnick Stadium for select football games. They've never looked better. Van Hayden. Entry number 75. As one of the largest real estate brokers in Iowa and one of the very oldest in the country, Rule and Rule Realtors has been helping Eastern Iowa home builders and sellers find their way home since 1862. I'm the only announcer allowed in here. Next up, 
Entrance 76, Scope Productions. Scope Productions is the University of Iowa student organization dedicated to bringing live music to the University of Iowa campus. Come see our concert featuring Sway Lee on the Pentecrest right behind me following this parade. Scope Productions. Next up, Skogman Realty. Skogman Company since 1947. And another fancy float. Skogman Realty and Companies. Next up, number 78. Suntan City. Suntan City helps boost your everyday well-being with our red light technology, our hydro massage bed, and our UV and spray tanning equipment. Come visit our friendly staff at our local Coralville, North Liberty, and Cedar Rapids locations. Suntan City. Next up, the Johnson County United Nations Association. What does Herky have in common with the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights? They are both 75 years old and going strong. Celebrate this declaration with Johnson County United Nations Association. Our next entrant, University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics Department of Nursing. The University of Iowa Department of Nursing, home to over 2,000 employees with a commitment to collaboration, innovation, quality, and compassion. Our nurses are changing medicine, changing lives, every patient, every time. Entry 81, Waxing the City. Full body and facial waxing, specialty treatments, 20% off your first visit at Waxing the City. Our next entrance, Remax Affiliates, has locations in Coralville and Washington, Iowa. Let the agents at Remax Affiliates assist you with all of your real estate needs. No one sells more real estate than Remax. Entrant number 83, PCI Academy. PCI Academy's objective is to produce highly trained and well-educated graduates for the salons and spas of our world. We are committed to excellence in cosmetology, arts, and sciences education. PCI Academy. Next up, the Iowa City Kung Fu Club aims to create a healthier, stronger, and more centered Iowa City through the study of traditional Southern Chinese boxing.
Our next entry is the largest college at the University of Iowa. The College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the oldest and largest college at the University of Iowa. We are home to a broad array of programs in the arts and sciences, a powerhouse in discovery, creativity, and scholarship where students from all backgrounds create their story. Wave to the crowd, Dean Sarah Sanders. Following the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, a favorite stop by those in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Dunkin' Donuts. Dunk the Boilermakers, Iowa City, and the Hawkeyes run on Dunkin'. The University of Iowa Rehabilitation Hospital is the premier post-acute rehab hospital. We continue the medical management and therapy plans to help our patients return to their independence. The University of Iowa Rehabilitation Hospital. Next up, the Iowa Student Bar Association. And I mean law when I say bar. The Iowa Student Bar Association is the student governing body of the University of Iowa College of Law. The Iowa Student Bar Association exists to act as a voice for law students and to provide law students opportunities to connect with each other, faculty, and the larger University of Iowa community. Next up, Mom Demand Gun Sense, volunteers of the Iowa's Moms Demand Gun Action for Gun Sense of, in America is dedicated to promoting the importance of secure storage. Text READY to 64433, that's 64433 to learn more. We all have a role to play in preventing gun violence. Entry number 90, the Liberty High School Marching Band. The Liberty High School Marching Band and dance team are in their fifth Iowa Hawkeye Parade. Founded in 2017, Liberty High School has quickly become one of the premier high schools in the state of Iowa for academics, arts, and athletics. Enjoy the sights and sounds of the Liberty Marching Band and dance team, Go Bolts. Two of them. The Liberty High School Marching Band and Liberty High School Dance Team. The dance program, Varsity and Junior Varsity, made up of 34 members and coached by Riley Bodie, Annie Riss, Megan Colony, and Maddie Ring. Go Bolts and be a light. Our next entrant, number 92, 
Miracles in Motion Therapeutic Equestrian Center. For 35 years, Miracle in Motion has provided equine assisted therapies to children and adults with physical, emotional, and cognitive challenges in the Eastern Iowa area. Giddy up. And in the spirit of Halloween, here comes the Dagawan Blood Center, student organization dedicated to supporting blood and platelet donation in our community through the UI Dagawan Blood Center, where every donation is used to support a patient at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics or the UI Stead Family Children's Hospital. This student group recruits new donors volunteers at the hospital blood center and community blood drives and helps promote the life-saving importance of blood donation. Next up, number 94, The Graduate Hotel. The Graduate Iowa City presents Wilder, a hashtag news, news, nostalgic restaurant concept in nod to Gene Wilder of Willy Wonka fame with a bold Try Wilder for the whimsical food, drink, menu for something for the whole family. And now the Rigo Services is a local Iowa City business to help you with your lawn care, junk removal, and demolition needs. Rigo Services. Number 96, Holiday Lights at the Lake. Holiday Lights at the Lake is entering their third year of magic at the West Overlook Campground with a mile-long route of dazzling light displays. They will be open nightly Thanksgiving through New Year's Eve, and all proceeds of this event benefit the Birdhouse Hospice Home of Johnson County. Santa and Mrs. Claus make frequent appearances, and they're excited to be visiting the North Pole in the parade today, too. Next, the Green Counseling Services, PLC, PLLC. Green Counseling Services provides individual therapy to children, teens, and adults, as well as couples counseling and family therapy. They have immediate appointments available in their Iowa City, Coralville, Waterloo, and West Des Moines offices. Our next entrant, number 98, the College Republicans of Iowa, is a conservative group on campus. Also walking with us is the Young Americans of Freedom, Turning Point USA, and the Johnson County Republicans. Next up, the University of Iowa Women's Hockey Ice Club. The University of Iowa Hockey Club is a sports organization here at the University of Iowa that fields two teams. Check out their games this season at the Coral Ridge Ice Arena and make sure to follow them on Instagram and Facebook at UIowa Hockey for more information. Entry number 102, P&G Oral Care, the Procter & Gamble Oral Care site, has been an employer in the Iowa City community for more than 65 years, producing Oral-B and Crest toothbrushes that promote healthy smiles for life. Enjoy the world's finest toothbrush today and keep smiling as we watch Hawkeye Homecoming victory tomorrow.
Number 103, Mazahir for Iowa City Council. Mazahir is running for the City Council to continue working on affordable housing, accessibility, strong neighborhoods, and diversity. Entry number 104, the University of Iowa Army ROTC. The University of Iowa Army ROTC program works to develop and commission officers of character into the United States Army. Thank you for your service. And next, the University of Iowa Air Force ROTC. The University of Iowa Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps Detachment 255. This small but mighty detachment develops leaders of character for tomorrow's air and space force. University of Iowa Air Force ROTC. Thank you for your service. Next up, the Iowa City and Coralville Hy-Vee Stores. Iowa City and Coralville Hy-Vee Stores, the official grocery store of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle and at the homecoming parade. Our next entrance is a common look and feel of the University of Iowa CAM bus is the University of Iowa public transit system that provides bus service throughout the campus. Their services are utilized by students, faculty, staff in the community, and all are free to ride. CAM bus, more than 50 years of service to the University of Iowa campus. Next up, Environmental Coalition of Iowa. The Environmental Coalition at Iowa, student group dedicated to addressing the whole fixing the environmental services and issues we face on campus and as a community as a whole. We are committed to advocacy, action, education, and volunteerism as vehicles for positive change. Laura Burgess has served the Iowa City has served the Iowa City Council since 2020, running for re-election this year. And just in front of them was the University of Iowa Pentecrest Museums. Hi, Barbies. Their job isn't just beach, it's just museum. That's right, the University of Iowa Pentecrest Museums. Barbies and Ken's here to spread the word about two museums in the heart of our campus. The University of Museum, Natural History, and the Old Capitol Museum. Both free admission every day. Bye, Barbies. The University of Iowa Ophthalmology, University of Iowa Ophthalmology Department with the Iowa Lions Bank and Kids Site. And the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, SHPE, changes the lives, empowering Hispanic community to realize its fullest potential and to impact the world through STEM, awareness, access, support, and development. Our grant. The Iowa Baja is an engineering student organization at the University of Iowa with the designs, fabricates, and races our cars against international teams. As undergraduates, we gain hands on experience and exposure and professional exposure in business and engineering at SAE events. Iowa Baja. Revitalize You Med Spa and Salon is the premier destination for aesthetic and salon services in North Liberty, Iowa. From our esteemed medical providers to our experienced salon team, Revitalize You is committed 
to providing top-of-the-line services for the corridor and beyond. And the food pantry. Our mission is to provide nutritious food and necessities for University of Iowa students, faculty, and staff, and the need to fight food insecurity through education and advocacy. This is the Iowa Hawkeye women's golf team for And guess what's next? Here comes the Iowa Hawkeye Spirit Squad, followed by, well, we'll wait. Here's Herky the Hawk. Herky the Hawk and the Iowa Spirit Squad We'll be teaming with our gymnastics team for a new training center out on the Iowa Hawkeye campus. And here come the more than 200 members of our Iowa Hawkeye marching band. No biggie. How about those Hawkeyes? Thank you for joining us in this Iowa Hawkeye annual tradition. And tomorrow, head to Kinnick Stadium when we destroy Purdue.